Check it out. What is the importance of articulation and ghost notes in jazz saxophone playing? Well, it makes your lines sound human. It makes them sound soulful. It makes them sound hip and good and nice when they hit the ear. Without articulations, without the appropriate style of the jazz tradition, lines sound clunky or they sound square. They don't sound good, even if all of the pitches and rhythms make perfect sense. Take this line, for example. It's not a very interesting line, melodically. It very literally outlines a minor 251 going to my E minor. There's one little chromatic approach. But what makes it hit? It's the articulation. Without any articulation, it doesn't sound cool. Listen. Feels weird, right? So how do we articulate this line? A lot of cats who are teaching beginning and intermediate jazz students say that the first place you should start is tonguing the upbeats. And I disagree with this because it's not always appropriate. In fact, it's really only appropriate when you're playing lines that descend by step. So if I was playing down the scale like this, it would make sense. It would sound pretty hip there. But lines don't just descend by step. They have arpeggios and chromaticism and all kinds of cool shit. If I just tongue the upbeats, it would sound like this. Which is fine, but it doesn't really swing. It doesn't really have like a, you know, soul to it. So how do you give it that soul? How do you give it that character? I use a combination of basically four articulations. One of them is D which is an unaccented attack. One of them is T, which is an accented attack. One of them is N, which is a ghosted note, where my tongue is on the reed. And the other one is E, which is a note that's not attacked at all. In this line, I'm going and that's it. If I was to play this on just a single pitch, it swings in itself. When you add a shape to it, it hits in a way that you can't really get if you articulate it in another way. And probably there's a hipper way to articulate this that I wouldn't use or haven't practiced, but this is basically what I think is the most appropriate articulation for this line. A lot of people who are trying to teach jazz online, especially jazz saxophone, they don't really think about the articulations they're using. They'll say, okay, here's the line slow, here's the line medium, here's the line fast. But you check out these videos and they're playing these lines with the same pitches and rhythms, but the articulation is, is different. Why? Why present that idea? Why put that in anyone's head? Your articulation should be the same. It should fit the line the same way. Whether you're playing the line at 30 beats per minute or 300 beats per minute, it doesn't matter. As you're studying and practicing and learning things from records, pay attention to the articulation. And regardless of the tempo that you ultimately want to be able to play it at, always use the same articulation. So if I'm playing this line at a very slow tempo, <laughs> That's how I'm going to practice it. As you work it up. Keep the same articulation. And it'll be hip because you will not only internalize the shape, which is kind of a boring and, and obvious shape, but you'll be getting this rhythm in your body, be getting this rhythm in your tongue and your, your breath and everything. 